Is Super Scroll underrated? Well, so is Super Scroll underrated? We're about to find out today. Super Squirrel entered the game this year, and he's already been touted as the worst champion of the year. I can't imagine a champion coming out that's going to receive more hate than Super Squirrel. In fact, I disliked Super Squirrel so much when he first came out, I didn't even choose to make a video on the character. I just felt like he's such a fan favorite character, and Kabam let us down pretty heavily when they released this champion. Now, admittedly, I didn't play around with Super Squirrel too much, um, because I just didn't enjoy playing with him. And that's just kind of the way it is. Uh, you know, nowadays I tend to make at least one video on release day for every new champion just to get a little something out there. But at the time of Super Scrolls release, I was so disappointed with the champion, I just didn't really care to play with him any longer. But it's been a few months, I'm over the disappointment, I feel like I want to give this guy another shot and see if maybe, possibly, we're sleeping on this character and see if he can do a little bit more than we think that he can do. And we're going to find that out today, right after a very quick word from this video sponsor all right so huge shout out to game round for sponsoring this video and if you don't know what game round is well don't even worry because I'm about to tell you right now while we watch this little clip now let me ask you a question have you ever played a game before like let's say Marvel contest of champions and said to yourself man I wish I could just talk to the developers of this game so I could tell them how awful I think this mechanic is or vice versa how amazing this mechanic is well really great news for you because game round is a unique new platform where you can discover unreleased outstanding games that are free to play for you now it allows you to connect with the developers that are creating your favorite titles on the platform and other gamers from your region. Now, if this is something that you're interested in, I recommend that you click on the referral link right there in the description. You should be able to see it right now. Just click it, sign up in my referral code, and you could start testing out these games and giving your feedback. But let me show you a little bit how it works. So as you can see, I'm on the gameround.com slash testing website, and there are a bunch of games here for us to try. And as you can see, we have a few more weeks till the test these out now if you're wondering what kinds of games we have here for example this is an rpg strategy game called gray zone let's give it a look here as you can see it's not just little 2d side scrollers this is a full 3d rpg game this is a full scale game for you to test out it comes with some screenshots some info on the studio all the info on how to install here essentially you download an engine and then you can play these games on the engines on your pc all right and then then, once the testing period is over, let's check out Relic Hunter's Legend. It's now time to give a survey. So as you can see, you can play the game, give it a review, and then fill out the survey. That way you can let the developers know what you liked, what you didn't like, and you can help these guys make the best game for the public. So if this is something that's interesting to you, click on that referral link, give it a try. It's completely free. You might end up really liking it. But anyway, let's jump back into the video now. So a huge shout out to Game Round for sponsoring today's video. Now we're gonna jump into Super Scroll. So the way Super Scroll works, man, he kind of like gets these charges every couple seconds, right? Every one second, Super Scroll reaches a full charge, and his next action creates a buff, resetting the charge. Okay. Now when you land a hit or strike a block, you get a Fury buff. All right. If you like block an attack, you gain an Armor up buff. Now, these Furies look a little potent. You can have up to five of these, 315 each. Let's just call it 300. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 plus 15. So what is that? 15, 30, 45, 60, 75. So 375 minus one each. So 370, right? So that's going to be 1570. 1570 attack rating. That's not too great, all right? But that's pretty much how you can, you know, get five Fury buffs, okay? And then Cosmic Energy Overload buff. Upon reaching its Cosmic Energy Receptor buff limit, uh, Scroll gains a Cosmic Energy Overload buff for 15 seconds and cannot build any more Cosmic Energy until it ends. All the Cosmic Energy Receptors are in Movement Overload ends. So he gains additional buffs based on the Armor Ups or Fury buffs active when he enters. With 4 plus Armor Ups, he gains a Vigilance. 8 plus Armor Ups gains Unblockable. 4 plus Furies gain an Undermine debuff for 15 seconds, granting Unblockable to any hit which the opponent auto-blocks. 
Okay, and then eight, that's actually gonna be useful for Penny Parker, I think. And then eight plus Fury buffs gain a Nova Fist buff for 15 seconds, granting 100% chance to incinerate on all attacks, dealing 1,000 energy damage over 1.5 seconds. That's actually kind of decent, all right? Now, special attack one, on activation, convert up to five Furies into armor up buffs, increasing armor up, blah, 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 blah. The second hit of the attack can't miss or be auto-blocked again. Kind of possibly good for Penny Parker. Uh, special two, on activation, convert up to five armor up buffs into fury buffs, increasing attack by 314. Each hit has 100% chance to cause an incinerate on hit, dealing uh, dealing 2,500 energy damage over 15 seconds, removing perfect block chance, and reduces block efficiency by 50%. Special attack three, gain an indefinite non-stacking aptitude buff, increasing the potency of future armor up fury precisions by 60 seconds. 100% chance to stun for three seconds. So it's looking like we want to get that special three first and then start building some furies. So we're going to give it a shot against the old punching bag today. So we have a couple of synergies too, okay? So this one seems kind of nice. Each time you activate a Fury buff, there's a 100% chance to place an armor break on the opponent, lasting four seconds, max stack five, reducing armor rating by 150 each, that's not bad, 750 reduced armor. And then over here with Doom, start the fight with a Vigilant buff, not too bad, lest you not miss for 15 seconds. And then we have the Fantastic Four synergies, which is actually kind of nice. So let's jump in and let's give it a shot today. Let's see what a rank five maxed out super scroll with full synergies can do can we make this guy look potentially decent today let's find out i don't have too high hopes but let's see if he's maybe a little bit underrated now his play style is very weird all right you got to kind of be um very slow here in the beginning right now we have our five furies very nice we have a lot of buffs dude we have a lot of buffs up at the moment and we're not hitting very hard so far okay um, I kind of want to go for that aptitude, right? We're going to get the aptitude buff. It's indefinite, so let's just throw it, all right? So let's see if the aptitude buff on the special three can make those furies any better. Let's see, all right? Very cool looking special three, by the way. Very cool looking. Oh, a nice big stun too. Um, uh-oh. Oh, and there's an armor. Well... We can convert one of those armors up into a fury. Oh, nope, you had to do the special too. Great. Well, what we can do here is we can build up to the special two and then convert those armor ups into furies. So are you supposed to like keep converting your buffs or something? Is that the move? Like, am I supposed to turn these furies now? I don't even know, man. It's just, it's so confusing for no reason. Like, I think, yeah, so I'm going to get to the special two now. I'm going to have my eight Fury buffs, okay? And now, let's see, let's stack a bunch of incinerates up, right? We're supposed to, at least. Are we supposed to stack incinerates? Also, his heavy attack is so cool. But it doesn't really do much. <laughs> right and we can get some more furies ah uh, can we convert them all to armor ups because just because we can and then we can build back up to another special two and convert those into furies man he just hits for nothing though um especially without furies i think what we can do here is we can try this Ten Furies? Okay. Ten Furies. Ten Furies. Five. We had five armor breaks. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was a 4.5k light attack. Let's go for another special two here. All right, that... Okay, that special two <laughs> was kind of decent. All right, guys. So all you have to do is go for a special three. Um, go for a special one, gain all the armor up buffs, go through a full rotation, get to 10 uh, fury buffs, have a bunch of armor breaks on the opponent, and then go for a special two, and then you can get some decent damage. I'm gonna try. We're gonna try some more stuff. We're gonna see if we can make him usable today, guys. 
All right, man, I, I just read over his abilities again with like a fine tooth comb. And I thought like maybe I was missing something. I, I don't think I'm missing anything. I really don't think I'm like missing the rotation here. All right, let, let, let's try to do some content. All right, so I brought us into 6.1.6, the test out popped up. However, there's actually a couple different things I wanna test out. We're gonna test out his viability as a Havoc counter, okay? Because he has a very, very easy access to an armor up buff. So we're gonna try that out. All you have to do is block a hit, essentially, and now you have an armor up buff, all right? So let's check it out. Boom, okay? And that's, we only need the one. That's all we need. Now that armor up buff should protect us for a while. All right, block a hit. There we go. Let's go for the special three. Now we're gonna get the aptitude buff. Okay, so all future fury and armor up buffs are gonna have a you know, better uh, potency. So instead of like zero damage, it's gonna do like one damage, which is really good. And this stun is so long that like, you know, it almost feels like more often than not, you can't do much with it. But, okay, so so far he's feeling okay as a Havoc counter. And also just in case we can go for the special one here and get some more lengthier armor up buffs just in case and we can keep healing from the willpower right yeah let's gain another one and we can convert a bunch oh man i messed up oh i messed up bad that's all right let's get them all back we have five now we have the special two all right i did mess up there because look at all those buffs though man he is going to be really good for buffed up. There is no denying that. Like, you can't deny the usefulness for buffed up. Let's block a hit. Gotta block one more. I just want to get another one. All right, a lengthier one. Let's see what, like, we can do with this stun on special three. Maybe we can uh, <laughs> get him down to, like, 2% health and just go for, like, two combos and finish him off, or maybe they'll kill us. Really sick special three animation, man. What a shame. Yeah, that should do it there. Okay, decent have a counter. Decent have a counter. Not the best have a counter, okay? Decent have a counter. Here's another thing now. Shock 30 seconds. This is something right here, ready? Immune to shock and incinerate effects. Completely immune. EMP modification, um, what's the node that puts the incinerate on you every something seconds? Got a, is it, no, it's not got a light, is it? There's a node that puts, um, an incinerate on you if you don't attack the opponent for four seconds. And that could be decent there, okay? EMP mod is an annoying one for sure. We're gonna get through this Heimdall with like, I don't even know, man. Um, Dr. Doom, so I'll, I'll be right back. We're gonna use a good champ. All right, now let's test out some buffed up, okay? Um, right out of the gate, man, he's gonna be decent for buffed up because he just gets buffed so fast, which is good for buffed up, I suppose, right? So right away, Yuri. Fury. And we have the Vigilance, right? So now, yeah, look at that, we're doing, we're doing damage. No one can no one can say we're not doing damage against buffed up here. Now, of course, it's Miles Morales, so he's gonna be evading us and whatnot. One more evade and then that should be it, right? But of course, you guys know we're gonna go for the special three, right? Let's go for the special three here. Now, another thing that's interesting is that like every 25 seconds, you get like the one second falter, which is kind of like a nice get out of jail free card if you do happen to mess up, but it only happens once every 25 seconds. You know, so let's see here. See? So that was okay. Pretty cool. We have five Fury Buffs now. Pretty decent. Can we go for a big special too? Okay, decent. Decent. 
Oh, completely forgot about that. Wow. Oh, beautiful. Unblockable finale. And now the falter, though, might come in handy. Hey! We got through a 6.1 fight. Not too bad. 70 hits. Wow. Full synergy team. 70 hits. Do we attempt Scarlet Witch here? Do we attempt it? I think we attempt it. I don't anticipate to win this fight. Fury. 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 And we're dying from poison anyway. We have our five Furies. Let's just turn them into arm rubs because why not? Okay, we're dead. So, of course, you know, we're not poison immune, so that's what we expected. Maybe do we find something else to try? Possibly. I, I, I just don't know. I don't know. Give me a second. We'll try one more thing. Okay, we're going to test out EMP modification just because I want to see him do something kind of cool. And that is just completely turn off this node. Okay? So, man, that, that might be a saving grace. Let's see, all right? Can we make this guy switch? No, not yet. Come on, switch for me. Here we go. All right, man, let's see. So now EMP modification, the way it works, if you don't, if you don't happen to know, is that basically, um, every time you gain a buff, the opponent's gonna get an EMP charge, and then when the opponent uses a special, you're gonna get a passive shock per EMP charge. Um, but since we're completely immune to shock effects, we're just going to entirely ignore that, which is nice. I wish I just I just wish that the heavy attack like actually did something. Let's just go in for another combo because of the falter. That's cool. I like that. That's cool. We can try this. We can try doing. Special one. And then converting those into Furies. We can try that. So now we have 10 Furies. Now loss of incinerates. All right, so this is actually decent right here. Look at this. Okay, this is actually... Wow, okay, that's decent. Oh. Okay. 85 hits is still nothing to brag about. But that was a lot more decent than the previous fights. Hold on. All right, so I was kind of joking about uh, this rotation earlier, right? Where I said if you can get to the special three, get the aptitude and then build up five Furies, throw the special one to get five armor ups, build to a special two, turn those armor ups into Furies, and then also build five Furies naturally, maybe we could see some decent damage. Maybe. Let's give it a shot here, all right? We have our Undermine buff. What I wanna do here is get to the special three and throw it right before it ends, right before. Then build five Furies naturally with the three second stun. Okay, use the stun to our advantage. So watch this right now. Okay, going for the special three. We're gonna get the indefinite aptitude buff. Now we're gonna build five fury buffs here, build up to a special one right under a special two, throw it right before we get to a special two. Ah, we're gonna get an armor buff, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, guys. But actually, that's okay. Because we are converting those into armors. There we go. One. All right, we have nine Furies. I really wanted 10, but nine seems okay. Aren't we supposed to have an incinerate on every hit? 
Is it only on special too? Okay, here's our 10 Furies here, all right? All right, see all the incinerates? Now we're kind of cooking because we got that buff, the green buff. But man, getting there is not freaking easy. It is not realistic at all to get there. Let's see what happens, all right? Let's see if we can do it. Ah! Uh, what? Did the falter help us there? The falter had to have helped us there. There's no way we just text that entire thing, right? If we did, we're gonna be famous. Special one, we got our five armors. Okay, let's do this right. Okay, watch this. 10 Furies, where is our green buff? Where's our green buff? Oh, I'm so confused, man. It just worked two seconds ago. I'm just, I'm just so confused, man. I just don't understand this freaking character, man. I mean, I do understand him, but it just... Ah, oh, God, this guy. I just... I was so excited for a second. I was so excited for a second. I don't know, man. So some of that last, you know, two rounds of Winter Soldier was cool. Uh, some of it worked, some of it didn't work. Some of it was decent damage, some of it wasn't. We kind of dexed the entire special too, I think with the help of the falter. Gonna have to watch the footage back, but yeah. Is Super Scroll underrated? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that everyone says he's bad and, and he is. He, he just is, man. There was that small glimmer of hope at the end of the night night crawler fight that I thought maybe may just maybe there is potential but I just don't think there is um but yeah guys that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed this type of video where we, we like you know revisit uh a newer but also older at this point champion um that kind of fell off the map after their release to so see if they were you know a little underrated if we're missing something with them let me know in the comment section below um, i've been wanting to make this video for about a month now i finally got around to it but if you did enjoy it drop your boy a big old like comment what you think about super scroll in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more stuff like this coming to you very very soon i'll be seeing you around